<laughs> Talk about the last of the Mohegans. The la this is the best story. You're going to laugh at this. My father, he must have been pretty good. I never could figure out which one was the worst, him or her. But I think he has the end. Sometimes he would do favors for people, so that put him pretty high on my list here. Now, recently I come to that decision. But anyway, we had, uh, wasn't in our neighborhood, <clears throat> not too far from where my Aunt Alice lives on Fountain Street. This poor lady, her name was Polly Wilson, and she worked as a cleaning woman in the flood building, and she cleaned medical offices and stuff like that. She worked hard for her money. She would, she wore a long black coat and she wore high lip black boots and all this stuff and a big black hat. She was kind of fierce looking. I think I was a little afraid of her. But anyway, she had a heart of gold. But this day she said, Mr. Buckley, Mr. Buckley, she said, can you help me? And he said, what is it, Polly? She says, there's some mice in my house. She says, and I'm afraid of the mice. Can you get rid of them for me? So he says, oh, don't worry. He said, we'll get rid of them. So he goes up and he sets traps. <clears throat> About a week later, he goes back and he, he sees her and he says, well, we got rid of them, Polly. She says, he said, that's the last of the Mohiggins. And she was happy at that. So about a couple of weeks later, she's running down to get on her bus to streetcar to go downtown and do her job. And here comes Mr. Buckley. She says, oh, Mr. Buckley, Mr. Buckley. She's all upset. And he says, now what is it? And she says, then Mohiggins are back. <laughs> <laughs> he had a good sense of humor, I guess, because he must have come home and told us about that. <laughs> How else would we know? The Mohiggins are back. <laughs> that was, sometimes if I think I need a laugh, I think about that. 